of the snow that everyone else seems to have gotten, but I hope if you're listening to this and you're from that part, you're, uh, you're okay. Tonight we are over in Oak Grove yet again. I promised Ladesia the science community will be built up rather soon, but I wanted to make sure that Oak Grove had a nice strong background so that there would be a logical place for people who aren't science related uh, to go to, and there would also be non-science related community lots that Sims from Ladesia could go to, since Ladesia will be a very uh, specific and highly specialized town. Tonight we are dealing with the leftovers from my National Legacy Writing Challenge, uh, and that would be Harvey Altair. Harvey here is our Generation 2 heir. He's going to carry on the household. He hasn't really gotten started on that just yet, but he just reached adulthood. So we're going to spend a day in his life today and just see what kind of adventures he gets up to. He has to wake up pretty soon to go to work. We're actually going to follow him to work, but down here... Every night these two come out to play. The dog on the left is Pilot and the dog on the right is Petey. They passed away of old age some time ago but they were Jackson, Harvey's father, uh, who is currently in his own urn <laughs> up in the master bedroom. Right here. Yeah. They are Jackson and Cherie. Poor Cherie, we're catching her just like an elder up on the toilet <laughs> in the middle of the night. But she is, uh, the dogs were their partners in their animal magician, uh, career that the two spent their entire life doing and performing. Now, we're gonna get Jackson up because we're gonna follow him to work today. I don't, I have him working since his lifetime desire is to be a city planner. He is working in the architecture career. However, because I like to make everything as, um, you know, just as, as detailed as possible, I did make a community lot that I sent him to so that I can play out there and pretend he's working his job as an architect. We are going to send him there early in the morning before his job starts, but first we'll be nice. We'll let him say hi to his mom and go on a hike because he enjoys his morning hikes. His mom is taking a shower. We're just going to skip to the hike. <laughs> Alright, go hiking. Although there's some ghost dogs downstairs, it's too bad he can't take his ghost dog with him on a hike. Now, the Altairs used to have so many pets. They had not only their two dogs, who were fully trained in the show business, and these two play more in death than they ever did in life, <laughs> but they also used to have Good night, boys. Or, I mean, good morning. I guess the ghosts are about to head off. Oh, hey, now your mom's out of the shower. Why don't you say hi to her before you head out? Cherie, as you can tell, is very old. She's pushing the upper limits. You, you two can talk to each other about your hobbies. Cherie goes first. Because she wants to serve a meal, so she's going to talk about cuisine. Ah, the walls are in the way. And the trees! I love the trees, but they get in the way sometimes. Go ahead and talk cuisine with your son for a second. So what do you want for breakfast? I'm thinking waffles. Waffles with mangoes. That sounds delicious. You know what sounds delicious? Waffles with mangoes and hot chocolate. I don't know why, but that sounds amazing. Cherie really loves hot chocolate. Oh, and as you can tell, she is retired. She pulls in a nice $887 a day. Uh, from her retirement. She still loves making money though. So usually she will um, go upstairs and she's a good painter. She paints birds and so she paints portraits of birds and sells them for quite a bit of money. Are you happy Jackson? Okay. He's like, I think waffles sound good mom. Or french toast. French toast sounds good as well. She's like, I am starving. Feed me already. Now after we follow Jackson to work, we might follow Cherie to her uh, little job. Well, she doesn't have- oops, let's see, let's focus on this. Alright, first things first- whoa, caramel apple pecan waffles, that sounds even better than waffles with mangoes. So we'll get her busy making waffles. Oh man, there's all that leftover pizza on the floor from the party that 
Jackson, or Harvey, excuse me, I, I was been calling Harvey Jackson, sorry, that Harvey has been doing. What was that one? I've never seen that one before. Have a good reputation. A good standing with the Within the neighborhood is important to some stem, sims. <laughs> to have your sim achieve a good reputation, interact nicely with other sims. Well, I think his mom has one, so we're gonna lock that one, because I've never seen it before. Shree is busy making waffles in a pan. I'm not that talented. I have never made waffles in a pan. Pancakes, yes, but never waffles. Sorry, I like taking lots of pictures, especially because Shree is really pushing it, and I have a feeling that all of a sudden Harvey might be alone in this house. That is not something Shree wants to see happen. Oh, she burned them. That's sad. She's like, oh, this would be fine if I had had a girl. Well, honey, I don't know if cooking waffles on a stove in a skillet was actually that helpful. So we'll let her go ahead and... Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, that looks better. That's caramel pecan waffles. So, she wants a grill. Where would I put a grill? Since she's kind of kicking it up on elderhood, I try to satisfy her wants and just make sure she's happy. She's had a good long life and worked really hard for me, so it seems only fitting. They don't have too much money, but she wants a grill costing at least a thousand dollars. And you know, I could see this area in the backyard here, which I've not really done much with yet, be turned into a uh, like a fun area for Jackson to bring his friends and they can party back here. Okay, let's see. What kind of grill should we put out here? A grill costing at least a thousand dollars is what she wants. Hmm. I don't really like that design on the side. Oh good, there's a design lesson. What do you mean? There's a slope here? Are you sure? Finicky thing, I see no such thing as a slope. But we'll go ahead and we'll flatten the area back here. Because I guess there was a slope. <laughs> it was really subtle though, I couldn't see it. Now, let's see where our thousand dollar grills start. Are they all going to be? That's a $900 grill. $995 grill. A fade table. A stove. Here we go, here's a girl that I think suits their backyard a little more. Um, hmm. It's always interesting on my end whenever I'm watching other Let's Players to go, I wonder why they chose what they chose, so I'll tell you why I chose this. I like the wood, uh, I can do something like patio themed with that, with the furniture and stuff in a little bit. And I like the, the blue-black because it's a little bit darker, so any flowers and plants that I put around, and I will be putting them around, uh, will really make that pop. By the way, that's something we might have Jackson do today. We might send him to the nursery. There is a plant nursery uh, owned by the construction company that he works for, and they might send him there and have him go pick up some new plants because he pulled up all the old plants to redesign their yard and things. And if it's available for Sims to go to a community lot and buy the item there, even if it's not an owned lot, I just have them buy it out of the buy mode and stick it in their inventory. I like doing that because it's just like a little bit of story. You're happy? She's happy. Yeah, I try to keep her up and plat. Learn how to make caramel apple pecan waffles without burning them, huh? Ooh, and also she has a fear of being robbed. Sorry, I know I'm like paying attention to the old lady. Even though I said we were going to follow Harvey, I keep calling him Jackson, I'm sorry. We were going to follow Harvey around for a while, so... Oops, I'm in the wrong category. I'm going to buy a... Alarm. Is that the only one? Looks like this is the only kind of alarm I've got right now. Because those are all clocks. And that's fine. I'm just going to put it over there. Behind that plant. Just so she feels a little more secure. Oh, now she's going to go check it out. <laughs> At least she ate her waffle. But I don't think she enjoyed it very much because it was burned. <laughs> so Harvey met 
Odell, Odiel, while out on a hike. Did that dog follow him back? It doesn't look like he did, so we're not going to try to make that something where <laughs> he like adopts the dog. Anyway, we will start him, actually, because that's still working for me. I'm going to send him to call for a taxi really fast because I want to follow him to work before he actually goes to work. I guess she liked it. Don't eat the bad nastiness. She doesn't really doesn't want to eat her waffles, apparently. I'm gonna have her clean up those waffles and make new ones. And Harvey... Now the reason I'm having him call for a taxi instead of just choosing him, as you can in Sims, after I believe the addition of Seasons? Or I think it was Seasons. And then clicking Walk to Lot and then Community Lot is because for some reason that isn't working in my game right now. Sorry, I can't creep on him a little bit closer. We're just gonna have him go. The taxi will come pick him up soon. Whoa, sorry. I misclicked and threw us into that tree. That tree is very pretty, but man, taking up some space. Why don't you give your mother a morning hug since you're back from your walk now? Be like, hi, mom. I'm gonna go to work soon. Wow, I guess that's all it took to get a good reputation. <laughs> we'll lock that meet new sim one because we're about to send them to a community lot. Why don't you just start? How is their relationship? Oh, they're BFFs. That's sweet. And as you can tell, Sheree actually has been up to quite a bit. She's got crushes on a couple guys who she's really been flirting and talking with lately. Um... As she's good friends with, well, getting to be friends with Zena Storkway. Zena came over to console her after her husband passed away of old age. Sheree really entertains me. She's got, uh, the adventurous want. Alright, let's see. Stracia Construction Corp. Right there. Alright. You need to leave, buddy. Like, you're... Wait, oh, he doesn't work today. <laughs> okay, we're sending him in on his day off because he's that dedicated. <laughs> and she's like, I want a food processor. I'm sorry, sweetie, your kitchen is a little bit small to add a food processor. <laughs> I wonder if I could fit an island in here without, I don't know, it's really crowded. Uh, no, I don't see it working. <laughs> I mean, I get, I'll, I'll try, but we'll do that after we get back home. Go ahead and serve your waffles again. She's like, I'm going to make them right this time, darn it. I don't care if I'm getting old and senile. By the way, yes. Harvey's outdoor outfit. He just randomly got this one, and it was so spectacularly awesome. And just fit him, because he went to this really, like, private boy's boarding school when he was a teenager. You can read more about his adventures there on my Tumblr, uh, where I've got tons of pictures and, and the background to this legacy family located. You can read more about him there. I love the boarding school too. It's called Acer Rudrum Academy, and I do plan on integrating it back into Oak Grove eventually. For those of you who don't know, the story is that Oak Grove, uh, had a massive flood that destroyed the town and wiped away almost all the buildings. Only a few were left and all the town people left and it's just recently started being rebuilt. And that's why we're going to the Construction Corporation because at Crustacea Construction Corp, Harvey found a job to help rebuild the town and that's really fueled his desires because he loves his hometown and he wants to see it be built up again so that everyone can live there happily. So that's his goal in life, is to rebuild the town that was destroyed by the Flood. And if you guys have watched the videos with Natalie, uh, episode number two, then you may find how we stumbled upon a, a surprising backstory for how the Flood occurred. I won't spoil that for you right now, because I'm still playing with that idea. I think it's a really awesome one. I love the randomness that can show up just while you're playing. But uh, it's pretty cool. So there there might be a bit of a really interesting backstory to Oak Grove and why the flood came. 
And yes, like I said, I know we've been spending several episodes uh, here in Oak Grove, but we will be going back to Ladesia soon. I just want to make sure that Oak Grove, which is the older community, feels a little established before we move into the other one. And here is a construction yard. This is where Harvey comes in my head every day to go to work. So when he jumps in that carpool and leaves, this is where I imagine him being sent. Yeah, he wants to go join everybody in playing. <laughs> playing a, a, the basketball hoop right here. So who what do we have here? Cody and Lisi and Sylvia and Zena. And he wants to become friends with Philippa. I don't think he's met Cody. So let's have him go greet Cody real quick. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of the construction yard because I think it looks pretty awesome. We've got everything piled everywhere. I really wanted to stack these pallets, but unfortunately you can't stack them. Not even with OMSPs because they're a four tile object. Alright, yeah, he didn't know her. Just laugh, joke around. We'll pretend Cody might be doing like a job or coming to suggest something uh, here at the construction corporation. Hmm, what's this on her pants? Is that paint? Yeah, so I, we can pretend that Cody like is doing a painting job for the construction company then. As for this dude, I don't know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He's here to suggest that not only does this town need someone to sell them proper clothing, but they also need someone to help with hair implants. I'm sure we can figure that out. <laughs> okay, so he's just joking around with her. Oh, she's... was that networking? Yeah, she's networking with him. I love networking because interesting things happen. Oh, cool. So he's going to get higher wages in that career track from now on. That's neat. So now he's making $615. I don't remember what he was making before, but I'm assuming it was less than that. There's Johnny Smith, if you guys remember Johnny Smith. Uh, from the episode, it was episode four, part two. Yeah, episode four, part two. Um, in working with Sky Muffin, and you know he's he's a pretty cool guy. He likes his women curvy, as we found. So there's some townies going around, and in here I put a drafts table, a draftsman table that Harvey comes and spends a little bit of time at. I don't like using the aspira or the aspiration awards or career rewards unless the sim has earned them. Did he just network again? Why thanks. <laughs> so apparently coming onto the construction yard on his day off has really helped. Now he's making more money than he was and he also gets a promotion, which obviously he would have had anyway. Uh, I actually, in fact, we'll let him draft a blueprint. So he can do a little bit of work on, on his off time. Because that's how dedicated he is, making sure the town can be built. But as I've mentioned before, I have a hack in my game that allows the Sims to live for 155 days for their adult lifespan. It's really long, but I found with my form of gameplay it works out well. Because I, I don't like to try to push my Sims too hard. If they, like right now, Having him spend some time drafting a blueprint even, that feels weird to me, because normally I'll just have them focus on, uh, you know, whatever their wants say, or whatever their their traits say. By the way, Harvey's traits, um, let me see if I can remember them all off the top of my head. Harvey inherited Bookworm from his father, and Adventurous from his mother, and he earned star quality when he turned into a child uh, he ruled star quality so if he wanted to go into a fame oriented career then he would be able to reach the top of that star quality is one of the traits that i require if you want to get to the top of uh, careers that require fame like a lot of fame i'm still playing with how i'm going to work that but we'll see and then also um let's see what else does he have Bookworm, Bookworm, Adventurous, which is pretty fun, uh, Star Quality, and we have a witch coming to the lot, that's why it stopped moving. <laughs> so 
Sorry, just be patient. We'll figure out which witch it is because as you guys have found, as we found with going around and watching Natalie, the witches in Oak Grove have a lot more of a prominent role than I thought they would. Uh, I did not plan for the supernatural events to be that prevalent, and yet there they are. Oh man, come on, move. Anyway, sorry. I know I keep going back and forth, but I'll get better at this as we go on. Harvey. Traits. Adventurous, which he inherited from his mother. Bookworm, which he inherited from his father. The star quality, which he rolled when he turned into a child. Genius, which he rolled when he turned into an adult. Uh, which basically means that I gave him the genius IQ using the bat box, which is a mod that you can download from uh, More Awesome Than You. And so now I have to remember what he rolled when he turned into a teenager. That makes Harvey 100% unique and totally Harvey through and through. And I can't recall off the top of my head. I feel like a very bad sim overlord person right now. Ah, good. Finally, it loaded. Alright, let's figure out which witch it was. Because that's always when my- oh, it was the evil witch. Nayira. So she's up to something. If she's coming to visit the construction yard, that can't be good for Harvey. That must mean that she has plots to keep the town from being rebuilt. So now we're going to have to figure out what is she up to. She's coming here to do something. What? Johnny, I think you have a problem. You're, you're stuck in the middle of a truck. I'm worried for you, sir. <laughs> but so here she is on the lot. So what was the last building I built? I built a warehouse. In fact, you can see the warehouse right there. That's the warehouse, the platform warehouse that was built to store goods that are unloaded. Sorry. There we go. There's like you can see the crane will help to unload the goods from the train and load them into the warehouse. That was the very last lot I built. So I wonder if she did something to the warehouse. Ruined all the goods inside them. See, it looks like she just cast a spell on it right there. And that definitely looks like she just, like, let's say she damaged all of the goods that are inside the platform warehouse just now. So what was the next thing I was thinking of? I was thinking of um, building a clothing store. I think. So now we're gonna assume that the clothing store is like a no-go, like all the clothes for the clothing store. <laughs> I love it! Witch be gone! <laughs> She's like, go away, I'm gonna spray you with pest repellent. Go away, witch, witch be gone. Shoo shoo! Spraying you down. Oh no, run for it, Cody, run for it! You're gonna get zapped. Good, now you're escaping. Oh man, she's really waving that wand around for a while. I wonder what she's plotting. Look at that evil face. It's adorable. She's got the most adorable evil face. Her cat? Yep, there's her familiar. Maybe she's gonna send her familiar to harass people. Maybe she casts a curse of some sort. I'll have to figure it out. She's headed out now. Leaving her cat behind to do her evil dirty work. And Johnny is just like, hey, I saw a witch. Awesome. See you later, lady. Johnny, honestly. We'll check up on our boy Harvey. He's doing okay. Still working on his blueprint. Even as a genius, he has to slave away for quite a while at his skills. Because the sims live so much longer, to keep the game interesting for me, not only do I have a harder skill mod in place, but I'm also working on a system where my sims will lose their skills uh, if they don't use them, which I think is too hard. I might just stick to when events happen. So whenever I start to need a family that needs spicing up, like something to spice up the family, I'll roll uh, chance cards and things like that to see what happens to them. 
It may be based on their traits. It may be based on just randomness. Oh, hey, there's Avander. He's probably here to check on what's going on. Whoa, where'd he go? Oof, he vanished so quick. There he is. He's probably here to check on what's going on with the construction company. Because this Evander and his wife Erica, Eureka, from Ladesia, the scientist town that's to the north of here, who are responsible for funding the construction company. Not many people know that though, not even Harvey here. I think he'll learn that as he goes higher up the, the chain though. Did you finish that? Or are you just complaining because you're hungry? I swear Harvey is like, always hungry. And I didn't bring anything. Normally what I do, because he is always starving to death. Ah, fine. He won't finish that. Oh well. We don't need to keep it anyway. He wants to go eat out. I've got news for you, kid. There's nowhere to eat out in this town yet. Design a restaurant. Okay. Well, we're gonna send him next door real quick so that he can buy some flowers for the nursery. From the nursery for, uh... Do, do, do. Yes, I would like to eat that lot. For his family's household. And then we'll get started on sending him home so he can eat, I guess. <laughs> Alright, but this is where I'm going to pause this episode so it doesn't get too long. And then move into the next episode. I hope you guys have learned a little bit more about my game. Other than the fact that my sims can apparently walk into trucks. That's so weird. Um... That I make my sims lose skills, that I like 